Hi there. So now I'm going to go ahead and go over the generator feature here on the 2014 Coachman. Uh, this is very similar to most of our units out there. So I'm going to go ahead and just demonstrate this. And uh, if you're not driving the 2014 Coachman, you might just uh, you might be watching this video for your unit uh, because this is very similar to a few out there so uh, it, it, behind your generator door here you're gonna have uh, a view just like this and you'll be turning these switches upward and pulling the access panel off and uh, behind there you'll see a generator uh, that looks just like that and if you overload the circuit this breaker switch will be popped backwards just like that and uh, you'll just want to reach in there, pull that thing back towards you, and that will give you a live generator. So um, just like the controls inside, there's a prime button out here. You can hold that down till it lights up the light. That is a prime generator. Then you can hold that start button down until it starts. Yep, and then simply just press that stop button to stop the generator, and you can do that from inside. Uh, once you get it fired back up, you can put that door back on, and uh, make sure it's pressed in there appropriately and nice and snug, and then you go ahead and you close down both of those hatches, and that thing will hold itself on real nice. We don't want to lose that cover, so then you can go ahead and close up your access door there, and uh, that is basically the gist of the generator. Okay, and real quick here on this 2014 Coachman, uh, it's, there's only a couple units that are like this. They are pretty efficient, uh, but what you'll find here is this power cord coming out of the back here that we're plugged into. Uh, this thing, what, what you'll need to do is pull off the adapter and in here you'll find a plug. And this plug here, it basically completes the circuit when you're running the generator. So when you have generator and you're looking for generator power, uh, you say you're out there in the desert or wherever you are and you're hooked up and, uh, or you're not hooked up rather, and you have your, your generator fired up but you're not getting any juice, that's because the circuit's not complete. So this thing doesn't have the relay or I guess uh, the, the inverter that switches over the generator power into the, the DC so that you can run it on the plugs. So what you would do is pull off that adapter and plug that 30 amp plug right back into itself. So that completes the circuit for the generator power. So thanks for checking that out.